Hi guys and welcome back. So tonight we are on episode 6, season 10 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, all aboard the Shady Express. So let's get into it. So I was in New York doing a photo shoot for Essence. Tired of suggesting we go on a drive-by of Mark's restaurant. Driver, you know where SoCo Brooklyn is at? Yes, sir. I'm not going in. All right, we just going to go check this spot. We all know very clearly that Kenya definitely gets scrutinized the most about her relationships, okay? You know, it's always like, oh, you know, you got, like, fake boyfriend, he's so real, whatever. So when you get whatever. a real one, that's when you bring yes. him around. Yes. Mary, yes. 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 Mary, yes. Mary. Yes. It was, it was bomb for me to have not met my friend's husband. Like, that's bomb. I do want to meet him, but I don't want to press her to do it. You're going to be sincere when her, like, you are. So that's just a little taste of what went on on tonight's episode. So um, let's get into this full episode. So we start off with um, them um, finishing up the fight with Portia and Nene. And um, I'm going to ask y'all if y'all noticed something, right? Okay. Um, Nene was going in on Portia and everything. But I don't know if y'all noticed this. But then after Candy said, um, you know... Um, I had her back too, cause Nene was all about. I had your back. I had your back. And then when Ken Candy was getting up from the table to go out, cause you know Nene was leaving, so she was leaving too, cause you know ain't nobody team Portia after all them lies she told uh, with Phage and everything, and had Candy pulling out all them text messages, and everybody lost all respect for her anyway. Ain't nobody in the group really liking her. But anyway, um, so then once Candy said that. Nene's uh to take things off of her and admitting what she did wrong in the situation, she started going on about the portion candy situation just to ha just to take the spotlight the spotlight off of what she did, and then she need everybody to stay mad at Portia because she mad. And this ain't the first time Nene has done this. When she was mad at Cynthia, she wanted to pull up from somebody else what Cynthia did to try to make them mad at Cynthia. When she was mad at Kim, she did the same thing. When she was into it with Marlo, she did the same thing. This is what she does to uh, take things off stuff she does wrong. But anyway, um, I just wanted to know if y'all caught that because at the end of the day, um... I do need Portia to uh own up to like sincerely apologize to what she did to Candy. But anyway, um let me say one other thing. Though Nene didn't call producers and say fire Portia, Nene knew what what she said carried weight. And she know producers heard what she said and she said it in the way that she said it because she knew they would catch that clue. So for her to sit here act like she didn't shade Portia and recommend it, recommend that she be fired at the same time, she didn't do what Portia said she did, but she still did what she did, which was insinuate. Portia and Phaedra could go. So, um, anyway, now back to Portia. Um, and I need her to s sincerely apologize to, uh, <coughs> for the stuff she done, she has done. And I don't want her to be like, um, and this is the apology I feel like she should be apologizing to Candy about. And I don't feel like she should say to Candy, I'm sorry for... I'm sorry you feel hurt from my actions. She should be said, I'm sorry that I hurt you. I'm sorry for uh, my actions and my comments. They were horrible. And I'm sorry for the damage that they caused. Will you please forgive me? That's what I need Portia to say to Candy. This little stuff she doing, don't ever come to me. And if you sincerely apologize and say, I'm sorry if you feel, because right there, I'm going to cut it out because I feel like you not being sincere in any way, shape, or form. And I feel like, I really feel like Portia is trying to be sincere, but we all know Portia got a few little issues or whatever. But anyway, 
I did feel sad when everybody left the room, when they had the fight and argument. And, of course, Sheree had to stay back with her. It was her dinner or whatever because ain't nobody rocking with Portia because after all of that stuff she did and had everybody thinking Candy drugged her and tried to rape her, do all of that stuff, I just think that, um, you know, they not feeling her. They ain't really trying to hear nothing she's saying right now. So they all left with Nene, and I feel like Nene used that to have everybody look like they side with her and walk off. And I don't feel like everybody was sided with her. I think everybody was more feeling for Candy. But anyway, um, then they um get on their little the little shady train <laughs> and um get to where they going and um Nene uh it was some mess I was gonna say um I'm glad Cynthia went to talk to Portia um I don't think that that Cynthia was being flip floppy like they call her when she went to uh talk to Portia because sometimes you need to be the mature one. I feel I feel like like Cynthia said, she she know what she been through because she's been into it with Nene before. But I'm gonna put in layman terms basically what Portia was saying. And that is Nene is the type that you have to acknowledge to her everything that you've done for her. Everything she's done for you. Let me say that. Everything she, you, she needs you to acknowledge everything that she's done for you. And um, ignore what she did to you. Because she, she ain't studying that. She's never going to own up to it and never going to claim it. So basically, if you're going to still be friends with her, you just have to make up with her. Just acknowledge, acknowledge to her the things that she did for you. Because she did do stuff for you. She did bring you on this show. Because Nene did start this show. Acknowledge the time she's trying to help you. Because she's never going to acknowledge that she did anything wrong. Which she did somewhat do something wrong. But, um... Anyway, um... And then Candy was worried about Portia and Train. She should have been uh, worried about Portia and Maps because Portia don't even know Tokyo is in Japan, not China, because they went down to Chinatown. And she talking about, she trying to relate it to Tokyo, Lord, poor Portia. That's why I'm saying when they get mad at her, I'm to the point like, why? Y'all know the poor girl not all there. Like, I don't know. But, um... They had the surprise party for Kenya, and I'm glad that it went well because I honestly thought Kenya was going to be mad. Like Candy said, when they threw the divorce party, it did not go over well. (laughs) They was mad. I think it was Cynthia, Portia, and Phaedra all had gotten divorced. It didn't go over well with some of the ladies. So I thought that Kenya was going to be mad, but I'm glad that she wasn't mad because they was all prepared for her to be. I'm glad that she took it like a pro. She was a team player. She went along with it. She had a good time. And that is one thing I like about Kenya. She likes to have fun. She likes to have a good time. She's not a Debbie Downer like, you know, some of that group, Nene and Candy. They don't never want to fully participate in certain stuff. But um, I did like that Portia did sincerely care whether or not uh, Kenya was going to get mad. But she had to be a team player because all the women mad at her at this point. So she had to go with the flow because she just trying not trying to fit in and not cause anybody else to be mad at her. So she is really trying to make up with everybody, jumping in, being the first to do stuff, trying to have fun and make up with the ladies. And I don't know if they noticed that or not, but yeah. Um, Portia... Uh, I mean, she apologized to Candy, but I still feel like I just said that she needs how she needs to sincerely apologize to Candy. Um, I just I feel like she needs to sit down and apologize not just to Candy but to the entire group um, from putting them through the whole ordeal because the stuff she did and said like. It had the whole group messed up. It had people it had them messed up with their husbands and everything, and um. I feel like Portia 
believe what Phaedra was telling her because think about it. Candy had started really replacing her with Shamia. They were supposed to be all close, all best friends and everything. And the next thing we up and know is Candy and Shamia. And she's listened to Shamia over what the stuff Portia say. And she kind of turned on Portia before that happened anyway with that stuff that one party last season where Dunn one lied on Phaedra and Portia. And that started a lot of stuff. And that started really messing up their friendship, which Candy tried to put it all on Portia, but did Candy ever go apologize to Portia? I didn't see her really ever apologize to Portia for a dumb one doing the stuff she, that she did, so I feel like that set the precedence for the, to lead up to the stuff why Portia believed, it was so easy for her to believe the stuff that she was being fed because let's see, Candy did her like that then, and they really wasn't even talking about her that bad, dumb one live. And that just started changing things right there. Like, because Portia felt like we supposed to be close friends. But but now, and then, but I don't think Candy realized that, to be honest. But anyway, moving on. Um, so they get on. That's when they hop on the little shady train and they go on about their business. And Nene gets off the train and she's giving them tea about. Uh, Tyrone, I think you better call Tyrone. Anyway, <laughs> he in jail. You can't call him. And um, how you know him, Nene? Like, I want to know if, if if he tried to hit on Nene when her and Grant was separated that time. Because Nene, you know, she was out there for a minute, a little on the dating scene till they got back together. You know, but I, I just want, I want to know, you know. If that's how she know him. But anyway, she basically said he a shyster. So I hope that he ain't trying to con Sheree out of Chateau Sheree or um, whatever. And out of her little Bravo TV chick. But I feel like Sheree, Sheree ain't going to be cutting out of no money. She too smart for that. I feel like she using it for a storyline. And uh... Since he in jail, she don't really have to see him and bring him and be film with him or nothing like that. She, you know, it's easy for her to have him in the storyline. Um, um, let's see. Uh, Portia, some mess about Portia and Candy. They talked on the little train on the way there, and um. I will say, I learned on a, a Escape Still Kicking It, we know Candy hold grudges for decades. We already know this. But this is one time I feel like she should still be upset and hurt because that what Portia said really ruined her career. Like, could ruin her life and her career and her brand. But when she got on the train, she did, you know... Basically, uh, say, you know, it's, it take too much out of her to try to sit there and ignore Portia and be angry with her. Besides, Candy, Candy's nosiness takes over anyway, and Candy can't be mad and be nosy at the same time, so she's going to have to talk to Portia. And then, too, even though she mad at Portia and she ain't feeling Portia like that, when you've been friends with people that long... And they sitting there talking. You're going to have questions about their life or stuff like that. You may have, you know, minutes where you kind of remember the good time y'all had. While y'all ain't feeling like that, you do remember that side of her that you liked. That's why y'all was friends. And I feel like that's what happened on the train ride. Though, like I said, she still ain't feeling Portia. And I don't think she should let Portia off the hook that quick anyway. Because the shit she did was wrong. And the, the end. But anyway, um... I like what Marlo said when Candy told him, you know, she tried to apologize. And I do agree with what Marlo said. And I think Portia does realize what she did. Uh, Two, sometimes when people apologize, just because it's not in the way of what you think it should be, doesn't mean they don't sincerely mean it. I do think Portia means it, but it's just not enough heart behind it to back it up. That That's my opinion. Um... Let me see what else happened. Uh, 
after they get out the let's see when they get oh they go to the vineyard and um y'all when they get to the vineyard that dog go Marlo deep throated them dog, the whole thing of grapes like a whole the thing of grapes is as wide as my phone right thing of grapes is as wide as my phone look like and it's a big bundle of them like this long Marlo like deep throats the whole vine of grapes like who does that i'm thinking they talking about how marlo be stealing and and t uh these uh from people and stealing these old men's credit cards and doing all this stuff honey if she deep throating like that she ain't got to steal oh she don't <laughs> all she needs is her sugar daddy and deep throat him a few times, he'll give her anything she won't, child. Because she definitely didn't have no gag reflex. She ate the whole vine and, and whatever she she turned that, that vine to mush. Like, she sucked all the juice out of them grapes. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So, anyway, um, they had a dinner for this trip. And Marlo, I meant Marlo, Cynthia gets upset because they're talking about Kenya. And, um... I feel like she should have been correcting Kenya when she was talking about everybody else because when they got off the train and Nene was spilling the tea about um, Sheree Mann, Kenya was talking about the house that her mama ain't throwing shade. If, she, if Cynthia don't want nobody talking about Kenya, she need to tell Kenya to stop talking about other people because Kenya do be talking about other people and shading everybody all the time. So now that the heat is on her... um. Cynthia trying to be a good friend, but in order for you to be a good friend, you need to be an unbiased friend. Really. But, um, let's see what else. Um, they say something about her being flip floppy again about her friendship. Let me tell you. The first time when Nene came back on the show, um, she was like, Kenya, she not my friend like that. And it really hurt Kenya feelings. So I'm glad this time she is standing up for her friend. And Kenya is her friend this time. And I do think it's like Marlo said about the situation. I do think Sheree is hurt about... Um, I do think Cynthia is hurt by Kenya. They supposed to be close friends. Kenya didn't um call her and even so much as say I'm seriously dating somebody let alone um excuse me had to have a little, little wine and then on top of that she didn't say nothing about the wedding she seriously dating anybody didn't tell her nothing she ain't met the man but y'all supposed to be close now, she giving up friendships, going out on a limb for somebody that ain't even considering her a friend well enough to even tell her nothing about the situation. And I think that really sucks as a uh, as a friend. And she she better be loyal, loyal to Kenya because I'm going to tell you, she already know Nene will up and drop you, disown you, won't know you if she get mad and think you did her wrong or whatever. So she better keep uh, Kenya close. So, um, I do, I don't care what nobody say. I do think that bothers Nene a little bit, her loyalty, her, but I'm, I'm kind of like Portia and Candy. Um, mm -mm. you can't, don't, um, you need to keep somebody closer as a friend. And I feel like she needs to stay closer to Kenya as a friend. Because Kenya may be loopy. But to me, Kenya is a good friend. She a better friend than Nene. And um, I think that's what she need to do. Because, uh, like I said, when it comes to good friends on this show, you need them. That's why Nene got Marlo. Because you always need somebody on, on your side. But I don't think anything wrong with Cynthia and Kenya's Kenya's relationship. I don't think nothing wrong with them being friends. I don't think she be being flip floppy or whatever. Like I think she used to be, but after she went back and watched the shows and people talked about it so much, I really don't think she liked that anymore. But anyway, uh, I think that was all for this show. Let's see. I discussed we like 
since it was loyalty. But that is all for this show and for this episode. And I will see y'all in the next video.